When it comes to your style, it's important to feel confident. So here's a quick tutorial on how to feel confident and look good in your clothes. One of the number one ways that you can feel confident in your clothes is by working on your body posture. I find that body posture is one of the number one ways that you can catch attention from women and other people. Not having good body posture can portray that you are not confident in yourself. You're nervous. You don't really feel like you're that guy. And if you want to feel confident in your clothes, you want to feel like that guy. Number one, you want to always walk with your head up and your chest high. You want to make sure that your shoulders are parallel to your feet when you're walking. You also want to make sure when you're walking, you're not swaying. You're walking directly to your location and not fidgeting and moving very fast and moving at a steady pace. The next point that I find a lot of guys struggle doing this, and this is wearing clothes that fit your body style the best way. And this is just a struggle for any man that's getting into style. For me, I even found that it was hard for myself to figure out what exactly I like to wear and what looks best on me. For a while, I've tried different styles, the oversized, the super skinny, and I have just found with my style that I look best and feel the most confident in the fitted, more tailored style. But that could be different for most of you watching the video. So here's some tips on that. If you have a V-shaped body type, it's best for you to wear clothes that are more tailored and fitted to your body because your shoulders are wider than your waist. Now I find if you have an O-shaped body type, this means that you're a little bit bigger in your midsection. So it's best for you to wear clothes that are a little bit darker in color and have a straight cut fit, which means they're not too tight or too large. I find that when you have this particular body type, it's best for you to get your clothes tailored. So if you have an X-shaped body type, this means that your shoulders and your hips are around the same size. I find that whenever guys wear more boxier street style outfits, they pull these off the best when they have this body type. Now this doesn't mean that all you have to wear is streetwear. This also means if you decide to wear formal, if you decide to wear any other styles, just being mindful of that shoulder to hip ratio. When it comes to dressing for your body type, remember that we're all different. So you wanna find the clothes that fit and accentuate the best features of yourself the best. This next body type is a very popular one that you see on runways all the time, especially when you're a more slender guy and that is an eye shaped body type. Everybody talks about don't wear skinny jeans, don't wear these particular things. And I've said that before myself, but this particular body type, I find that skinny jeans just look the best on. They can pull skinny, slender styles in a way better fashion than most of us can that have a V or even an X. If you have an I shaped body type, the world is your oyster. You can wear pretty much whatever you want. So this next point is one of my favorites, and this is a true mark of someone who knows how to dress well. And this is how to layer your clothes. Layering your clothes is one of the best ways to make an outfit stand out and be the most stylish man in the room. And I find that when it comes to layering, this is one point that people get confused on. People have to see the multiple layers that you're wearing. It does not make sense to wear a layer that no one can see. So there's a few different ways that you can do this based on the area that you live in. Now, if you're in a warmer area or it's very hot in the particular time of year that you're in, it's best for you to layer starting with a base layer of either a t-shirt or tank top. If you watch my spring essential video, you know that a tank top is my favorite base layer during the spring and summertime to wear. I find that this looks best with a textured button down polo, which can be a short sleeve or a long sleeve, a cardigan, or even a light jacket. I also like wearing these with maybe a long sleeve linen shirt with a pattern in it. Now, if it's a little bit colder where you live or it's that time of the year where it is much cooler outside, I love to layer starting off in a more elevated way. Now here's a really key point that I don't see a lot of fashion content creators talking about. One of the key ways that you can focus on layering for things that look good, focus on the collar of the top of the item. What this means is if you're wearing a cardigan, the cardigan has a more of a U shape to it. So that means if you're going to layer on top of that, it's best to do that with a collar that can spread out on top of the shape. Now let's make sure you guys understand that. Making sure that that top item can layer properly on that bottom layer item and making sure that it's visible and it shows. I like to layer a cardigan with a simple button down shirt, a polo, or even if you want to keep it simple, you can do this with a Henley. Now vice versa with that same shape of collar that a cardigan has, a bomber jacket will have as well. Then if you get a little bit more deep in the weeds, you have things called mid layers. Mid layers work really well when it comes to sweater vests, regular button vests. Now vice versa with that same shape of collar that a cardigan has, a bomber jacket will have as well, or even a merino wool sweater. Number four is a huge way on how how you can feel confident in your clothes because most guys fail at putting the right shoes when it comes to their clothes. Let's face it, you have different occasions that you have to go to. So you wanna make sure that you're wearing the right shoe that fits that occasion and with your outfit. Now let's say if you're a younger guy between the ages of 18 to 25. Typically, if you're going to a job interview or anywhere formal, I would say the best shoe that you wanna wear with any of your formal and elevated outfits is gonna be a loafer. I think they're a timeless item that you can wear throughout the whole entire year 
but specifically if you don't really want to wear an oxford if you don't want to wear monk straps the loafer is the best dress shoe now that's the most versatile one right but you also have boots Oxfords and lace-ups. These are all dress shoes, of course, and can work well with more formal and elevated outfits, or even to elevate an outfit. But what you don't want to do is wearing the wrong shoe with an outfit that doesn't match it with a proportional standpoint. Now what this means is you want to find a shoe that matches the visual weight of your trouser to the visual weight of the shoe. Let's say you have a huge trouser that droops over your whole entire shoe. This won't work. And vice versa, let's say you have a very chunky shoe, like a chunky loafer, and you have really, really skinny trousers. This again, won't work, this won't look good. If you're gonna wear a wide-legged trouser or a more baggier jean or a more baggier pant, go with a more chunky shoe. It'll look better that way. If you have a more of a slender, tailored trouser, it's good to go with a more tailored, slender, profile shoe or sneaker. Keeping in mind these tips is gonna help you have an aesthetically balanced outfit going forward, which can ultimately make you feel more confident when you wear any outfit and choosing your fashion choices on top of that. Now the last and one of the most best ways I feel like you can really feel confident in your outfit, I'm just gonna tell the truth and that's working out and focusing on your physical health. I'm not saying that you have to be shredded, you have to look like Jake Gyllenhaal in Roadhouse, or you have to look like Michael B. Jordan in Creed. I'm just saying that it's best to focus on being healthy and being the best version of yourself. So however that looks for you, that's what it is. However you feel the most confident in your clothes when focusing on your style. So if this means for you maybe running or doing some cardio or lifting to be able to get your muscles bigger so you can fill out those polos and those tank tops this summer, then do that. Whatever makes you feel most confident in your clothes when it comes to your physical fitness, that's all that matters. But I truly do think Feeling your most healthiest and looking your best is a big deal when it comes to feeling confident. For me, that means lifting, boxing, running, all those things make me feel more confident when I walk around in my clothes. Keep that in mind that you're lifting for your self-confidence. You're lifting for that new outfit that you wanna buy, that new outfit that you wanna wear to a wedding that you may have, a friend's birthday dinner, because you wanna walk tall. Another thing from my previous point in the video when I talked about body posture, by going to the gym and working on your form, this helps with your body posture. This helps for you to walk with a more upright posture and not slouching. You see how all that can be very inclusive in your style and confidence and how they pretty much go together. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it really helps to make you feel more confident and feeling really good and looking good in your clothes this summer. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave me a like and comment below which tip from this video was most helpful for you. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.